Hey everyone, how's it going? Cloud here, and welcome to my guide on the Great Brain Robbery Quest. Now, for this quest you need the following requirements. You must have completed these quests, Creature of Fain and Strain, Cabin Fever, and Recipe for Disaster, the Freeing Pirate Pete subquest. And you also need the following skill requirements, level 16 crafting, level 30 construction, and level 50 prayer. Uh, you're also going to need to defeat a level 72 uh, monster, so obviously make sure you've got the relevant uh, combat skills in order to do that. That's it for the requirements, now on to the items. You'll need a hammer, the one on your tool belt won't work, uh, a fishbowl helmet and diving apparatus, uh, 38 plus nails of any kind. Um, I just uh, brought loads of bronze nails, they're the cheapest ones out of the lot, even if you do end up bending most of them. Uh, you'll need 18 regular planks, uh, any other plank will not work, uh, however only 8 are needed if you're going to buy the 10 wooden cats which I'll mention in a moment. Um, and again, 10 pieces of fur, unless you're going to buy the wooden cats. Uh, a holy symbol and the ring of Karos activated. So about the wooden cats, uh, you're going to need them uh, during the quest, which you normally can construct on a crafting table in a player-owned house, which is an additional requirement for this quest. However, just to make things completely easier, um, I would advise buying them from the Grand Exchange, even if it does cost you a little bit of money. Uh, you need 10 wooden cats in total, um, but it takes that requirement for needing the 10 pieces of fur and the other 10 regular planks. You will only then need to bring 8 regular planks with you. So that's it for the requirements and items, now on to the quest starting point. So we need to travel to the island of Mosla Harmless, which you would unlock after completing the uh, Cabin Fever quest. Um, now the easiest way to get here, um, I would recommend either, uh, you can get there for free by going to Port Fasimatus and speaking to Bill Teach to take you, or if you go to any sort of dock, uh, I would recommend Port Serim and go into the, char uh, the charter ship system, uh, you can speak to them to take you to Mos Lahamas and obviously pay a few coins to get there. I personally find that's the quickest way, so if you start at Port Serim and then go to the charter ship, which I think is on the very southern part of the dock, uh, and then head to Mos Lahamas from there. Once on the island docks, walk a bit north and you'll notice a rather sickly looking monk by the name of Brother Tranquility and you want to talk to him to begin the quest. So he will tell you about how some of the fellow monks are under attack from undead pirates and will ask for your help. Hesitantly accept his offer to teleport you to Harmony Island. So arriving in Harmony you'll find yourself in a granary with the monks who appear to have a ghastly visage similar to that of an undead. Uh, Brother Tranquility will explain to you that the situation of the once peaceful island. So the monks are a group of Saradomis who originally inhabited the island. Uh, they had a pact with the pirates uh, that the pirates leave the monks alone in exchange for any blessing they might require. But that morning they were awoken by a ship anchoring onto the island and as they went out to investigate a horde of zombie pirates entered and forcefully took over the monastery. Brother Tranquility says that the zombie pirates appear to be under the control of Migor, a twisted little zombie. Um, fortunately, with a few playing dead tricks, Brother Tranquility managed to free himself and the other monks back into the granary, where they stored their brainless bodies in case they can be restored back to normal. And Tranquility will tell you about a secret entrance to the monastery under a statue in the garden. So for this first part you will need four regular planks, at least ten nails, the fishbowl helmet, diving apparatus and a holy symbol. So you now need to find out what's going on, so go outside and head northeast, dodging the zombie pirates and you'll find a statue that can be pulled to the side. Go down the ladder and into the tunnel full of water, which is when you'll need your diving gear. Uh, you then want to put that on and transverse through the water, passing all the zombie pirates and want to repair the stairs at the far end of the tunnel, which will uh, require a few nails, obviously you might bend some. and obviously four of your eight planks. Climb up the stairs and up the ladder and then look through the peephole to spy on the enemy. So it is revealed that Migor is using sleeping gas all over the island to produce enhanced zombies for a greater force, so you guys by the name of Rabid Jack. Thank you. 
After you finish listening to the dialogue, you want to go back and inform Brother Tranquility of Migor's plan. So once you're speaking to him, he'll suggest you get a prior book that can be used to pry away the poison. So now we need to travel to the monastery near Edgeville. So we're going to go to the Edgeville Lodestone via the Lodestone Network. And once you're there, the monastery is pretty much directly to your west. Head over there and you'll find the book in a bookshelf situated in the southwest corner of the building on the ground floor. Uh, you want to make sure you've got your holy symbol as this is what's used to activate it. And then you're going to return to the island. So how you got there in the first place, obviously use a charter ship to get to Mosul Harmless and then speak to Brother Tranquility to take you back to Harmony Island. So once you're back on Mosul Harmus, talk to Brother Tranquility, he will speak about words and locusts, read the prayer book, and he will then take you back to Harmony. The gas is seeping quickly into the granary, so recite the prayer book by right-clicking on it, and you also must make sure you have your holy symbol equipped. Now that you've done that, the monks are no longer in danger of passing out and talk to Brother Tranquility again. He'd like to get the monks' brains back in their bodies where they belong. Unfortunately, as you're no brain surgeon, you'd uh, have to find someone who is. Um, so we need to travel to Dr. Fenkenstrain's abode, which is directly northeast of the Canifis Lodestone. So we're going to head to that now via the Lodestone network. Once there, travel to Fenkenstrain's castle and you want to find Dr. Fenkenstrain who is on the second floor um, which you need to access by going up several different steps and ladders. So after some dialogue, he'll agree that a new home free of the threat of uh, werewolves is better than his current position. However, he doesn't want to risk being attacked while walking there and is also weirdly allergic to teleportation, so you must find some other way to get him to Harmony Island. The doctor will suggest speaking to Rufus about his meat delivery crates. So we need to head back into the town of Canifis. Just to save you walking, I will just teleport back to the Canifis Lodestone. Once you're back in uh, Canifis, uh, head to the meat shop and talk to Rufus, the owner of the meat store north of the bank, but make sure you are wearing the enchanted ring of Karas when talking to him, and you have two open inventory slots. He'll agree to let you use a crate and will give you six crate parts to build it, but you'll have to fill it yourself. He'll also need to check the quality of your product to make sure it's worth carrying in one of his boxes, and for this purpose he'll give you a wolf whistle to contact him. So since he assumes you'll be transporting cats, you need to construct 10 wooden cats, um, which obviously I said what the uh, required items and that would be if you need to actually make them, but hopefully the uh, majority of you are listening to my recommendation and actually purchase them from the Grand Exchange to save yourself some time. So what we need to do is travel back to Fenkenstrain's castle with all the required items and then when you get to the same floor where the doctor was on you'll see a hot spot to build the crate. Do so and then use the extra four planks of wood to build a false bottom. And finally fill it with the fake cats and then use the wolf whistle to call Rufus. Uh, make sure you've got the ring of Karas activated. Fenkenstrain will automatically get inside the crate and once past inspection of the crate Rufus will give you a shipping order. Use it on the crate which will teleport it to the island. So now we've done that, we need to return to Harmony Island the same way as we've done before. So once you return to Harmony Island, climb down the granary ladder and talk to Venkenstrain who will tell you that he needs some equipment to perform the surgery and he'll give you a list of items to collect. Three bell jars, a pair of uh, brain tongs, a cranial clamp, 30 skull staples and a hammer which hopefully you've obviously got with you in your inventory. Luckily the antagonists already have what you need since they performed surgery in the first place, but the only problem is to get inside the monastery. So what you need to do is put on your diving suit uh, and head north from the granary to Migor's ship that had a run aground. Uh, and you want to open and search the locker on the west end of the ground to get a fuse, then climb up a level to get a tinder box and a keg of powder. With these in hand, you want to go to the very front door of the monastery and wedge the keg in the front door, add a fuse and light it to blow down the door and create an entrance. So 
So once you're inside, you need to kill some saw bones so you get the needed surgical equipment. They only drop as many as you need of each item, so just keep killing a load of them until they drop all the required stuff and then you can just collect it all and you shouldn't have too much difficulty with them. Once you have all the items, go back to the granary and hand them over to Dr. Fenkenstrain to begin the gruesome surgery. The surgery scene is cut out and instead you'll see a kitten playing with a red ball of wool. After the successful surgery, go upstairs and talk to Brother Tranquility. So now that the monks are back where they belong, it's time to end this. So you want to get all the armor, food and potions you'll need for the upcoming fight um, against the level 78. Um, Obviously, depending on your combat stats will depend on how much food you need, and you might not even need any potions. Um, do not bother bringing a helmet or cape because you still need to wear your diving suit and apparatus in order to um, get into the monastery. So walk through the demolished front door of the monastery to find out that the sawbones are missing for now. Only Meagor will be standing there, and he'll give you the option to confront him. When you do, he'll um, send his monstrosity against you, which is called the Barrel Chest. If you log out or teleport away during the battle, Barrel Chest will be at full health again when you return and should you die your gravestone will be placed outside the monastery door. So the use of the abilities can make this fight really really easy, uh, players with combat level 70 or above should be able to defeat the barrel chest fairly easy with decent weapons. It can um, both disrupt your prayer and lower your prayer points therefore it's suggested to refrain from using any of them. If you've got a real problem against fighting against him, um, bringing some Rings of Recoil might help um, as I'll obviously deal damage back for any damage he deals on you, but I really um, doubt a lot of you will have much of a struggle against the Barrel Chess. He's significantly easy easier now uh, with the evolution of combat. So once you have killed the barrel chest, pick up the anchor that it drops and then you want to walk back to the windmill to inform Brother Tranquility of your victory. So after you finish speaking to him, it will come up with congratulations, you completed the Great Brain Robbery quest. You're awarded 2 quest points, 6,000 prayer, 3,000 crafting and 2,000 construction, a blessed lamp which will grant you 5,000 experience and any skill above level 30, the barrel chest anger, if broken, use it on Pirate Smith on the docks of Mos Laharmus, um, while having the Book of Piracy and 230,000 coins in your inventory, a prayer book which you can use to restore um, or to heal uh, poison from yourself, access to Harmony Island, two treasure hunter keys and two hearts of ice. So there we are, quest completed, not a difficult quest at all, a little bit of travelling around but nothing too strenuous, uh, and the boss fight, very very easy, it used to be a completely different story um, when we didn't have the evolution of combat, I remember completing this on my other account about four years ago, and it was, you know, now it's an absolute doddle compared to back then. Uh, rewards from this quest, you know, fairly decent XP, the barrel chest anchor, unfortunately that is nowhere near as good as what it used to be, because obviously we've got better weapons and that available to you, and the two 230,000 coins to repair it's not really that worth it but it's completely up to you it's uh, an optional uh, weapon for you to use uh, if you find um, an excuse to use it the main reason for completing this quest is for the sequel quest for rocking out but yeah, I don't think you'll run into any problems following my guide. However, if you do get stuck at all, leave a comment in the comment section below and I'll help you out as best I can. If not, thank you for watching. Please make sure you like, favourite, comment, subscribe and don't forget to share with your friends. Thanks for watching everyone. Bye bye.